Hey guys, welcome to Bratty Bakes. Today I'm going to be showing you how I put together my double barrel cakes and how I make sure they're nice and supported so there's no accidents. So a double barrel cake is essentially a double height cake. And in Australia, a standard height is about 4 to 5 inches, so a double barrel is going to be at least 8 inches tall. And because it's so tall, I just like to make sure that I've got some extra structure inside just to keep it all nice and strong. So I've got all my normal cake things. I've got my cake layers themselves, and I usually use three layers for a standard tier. So I'm using six layers for my double barrel cake today. I've got my buttercreams and fillings, my cake turntable, my scrapers and spatulas, and my base cake board. I've also got a second cake board, which I'm gonna put inside my cake. And this is an inch smaller than my cake layers. So I'm using six inch cakes today, and I have a five inch little board for inside. I've also got some dowels and some cutters to cut them with. So now we're going to start off like a normal cake. We'll grab our buttercream and put some down on our board to glue our first layer down. Just smooth that around a little bit. Now we can pop our first layer down. Make sure it's nice and centered. And press it down to stick. And now I'm going to stack up the first three layers of our cake. So I'll start with a buttercream dam. And add in my filling. Next layer. And final layer. Now that I've done the first half of my cake, I'm gonna tidy up this buttercream a bit and then chuck it in the fridge for about half an hour so that it's a bit more stable when we add the rest of our layers. So I have just pulled this guy out of the fridge and it's a bit more set than it was before, which is going to give us a better base to build the rest of our cake. And now it's time to add in some structure. So this is really important because the taller your cake is, the more weight is gonna be squishing down on the bottom tier and it can cause it to bulge and just screw up the structure a little bit. So to help take the load off, I'm gonna add in some dowels and my cake board. And that's gonna have the top tier essentially resting on those dowels instead of resting and squishing the bottom cake. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pop my cake board on the top, make sure it's in the middle and just trace around it really gently with my palette knife. And what this is going to do is just leave a bit of a mark, which is going to act as a guide when I put my dowels in. So once we've done that, we're gonna arrange our dowels inside that circle. So I'm gonna put my first dowel in about a centimeter or so away from the guideline and try and make sure it's nice and straight. Push it right down to the bottom. I'm going to lightly mark it right at the top of the cake. and then I can pull it out and cut it on the line. And I'm gonna use this dowel as a guide for cutting all my other dowels so that I can make sure they're all nice and even. So now I've got three nice even dowels and I can pop them into my cake but just make sure they're nice and spread out evenly and inside that guide circle. Next, I'm gonna spread a thin layer of buttercream on top of everything and put our cake board on top so that it's resting on our dowels. Doesn't need to be too much, just a little bit to stick it all together. And make sure we've got the cake board nice and centered. Now I'll add a little bit more buttercream on top and start building our next cake on top of that. Again, you only need a nice thin layer. your cake down, make sure it's nice and centered. 
and then build it up. The final layer of cake. Now I'm just gonna neaten up these bits of buttercream again and then I'll chuck it in the fridge because right now it's a bit too wobbly to try and ice like this. It's also a good idea to get down at eye level and just make sure everything's nice and straight and where it should be. Perfect. I'm gonna go pop this in the fridge for about half an hour. Cake is out of the fridge and now that it's a bit more stable and easy to handle, I'm gonna ice this baby up. From this point, it's pretty much the same as icing a standard cake. You just wanna use a nice tall scraper so that you can get a good even coverage. So I'm just gonna show you how to do the crumb coat and from then it will be up to you to decide how you decorate your tall cakes and how you use this technique. I've already got a piping bag full of buttercream, so I'm just gonna use this to put the icing on for my crumb coat. Use the palette knife to spread it around. and then use your nice tall scraper to smooth it out. And scrape in the edges. Now that this is crumb coated, it's a really good idea to chuck it in the fridge for a little bit. And after that, you can decorate it however you wish. You can chuck some color or flowers or sprinkles, whatever your heart desires. Because they're so tall, I always like to stack my double barrels the day before as well. So they've got plenty of time to set up nice and firm in the fridge. Anyway, I hope this helped you with your tall double barrel cakes. And don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel for more techniques.